Um, hats off to Louisiana, the Raging Cajuns. They are scrappy, scrappy, scrappy. Um, proud of my team. I, I don't. I don't know that that's the best we've ever played. Um, our middles, we had a little bit of a hard time connecting with our middles tonight, but our outsides, the two outsides and pin hitters um, took care of business. And again, I say they were scrappy, scrappy, but I think we were almost a little scrappier. And if you look at the digs, I mean, we're almost at 100 digs, 95 digs that game. So very proud of this group. Um, again, I think I've told you earlier in the season, I didn't know what to expect from this team and to be in the finals right now in the Sunbelt Conference. I can't be happier. I mean, obviously, you, you know, you've been in Jonesboro, getting ready for the tournament, watching other teams play. Uh, talk a little bit about I guess getting out there on the court finals. It was good. Um, I was a little concerned. I, know, I don't know. This morning when I woke up, of course, I was up from about 4 to 6.30. I couldn't sleep. And then, of course, when the alarm goes off, I'm ready to go back to sleep. Um, I was sluggish this morning. I thought, oh, Lord, please, I hope the kids don't feel like I do. Um, but they were in great moods all day long. They were high energy. They were kind of silly, actually. Uh, after we went to pregame and we came over here, you could tell they, they were okay. Um, and we jumped out pretty quickly. So I don't think the, the sitting hurt us. Um, but I do know we've got to be a lot more, I'll say, efficient and, and get our middles in the game. So tomorrow we'll have a chance with either Arkansas State or Coastal. If you could, uh, just, you know, you're talking a little bit about uh, your outside hitters, a little bit about making an well. You know, they've kept us in a lot of ball games this year. Um, we're lucky that Amy Fluhop came to Texas State. We're glad to have her. Um, she really added some depth. Um, we would have been in a, in a little bit of a bind without her this year, but she and Megan. Megan's grown tremendously since her freshman year. Um, those two kids are pretty consistent. You know they play full rotations. They're on the court the whole time. They get swings from the back court, from the left side, from the right side. Um, I can't say enough about those two. Um, we're going to need them even more so tomorrow. But great kids, and I'm going to go ahead and mention Jalea Bolden, a senior. A um, little inconsistent, but she had some dominating kills today that really sparked us and, and gave us that momentum we needed. You alluded to it earlier, but uh, could you talk about uh, what it means to go back into the championship match? I've missed it. Um, I'm competitive. I want to be there every year. Um, and it's great, honestly, for this group. This is Aaron and Jalea's senior year. Um, they have not received a ring. They haven't earned a ring, I should say. Um, and they've talked about it. And, and for them, if nothing else, I hope badly we can take care of business tomorrow. Um, I want Texas State to be at the top um, in any sport, but particularly in, in what, I, what I'm hired to do is win volleyball matches and graduate student athletes. Um, so I'm really excited to be back up here. Semifinals the last two years, uh, you know, I'm glad we're in the top four. I don't want to be in the top four. We're now in the top two, and so let's see what happens tomorrow. Yeah, um, speaking about tomorrow, we'll talk about your potential opponents tomorrow, Coastal Carolina and Arkansas State. You played them three times. I know, I know Arkansas State a whole lot better, as you know, and it was seems like years ago when we played Coastal Carolina. Um, but when we went over there, I know we played probably as well as we could, and they struggled. They're going to be a lot better. I'm anxious to watch this match. It should be a good one. Um, either way, we've got to slow down either Leah Hardiman or Carlissa May. Um, they've got two very, very dominating outside hitters, as you know. Um, but, again, it's going to be what we do on our side of the net. Um, so this will be a, a fun match for us to sit back and watch Scott and come up with a game plan. All right, thank you so much, Coach. You bet.